is up beautiful people it's your boy captain red beard and today we are continuing on with the golden enigma grind with the sidewinder i hope you guys are as excited as i am to jump into this because i know i definitely am um and then after this one later tonight you will get the riveter golden enigma grind i hope you guys are excited for that one and i can't wait to see you people there as well but anyway, if there are any weapons or knives or anything you would like to see me do in the future, or if you guys would even like me to do like the new sniper rifle or anything like that before completely finishing everything up, which don't worry, we will be getting to those weapons, all the extra ones after I'm done getting all of these uh, bioluminescent and what is it called? Hold on. Uh, Borealis and interstellar that's what they're called once i get these interstellar and borealis we will be going back through and getting all of the other ones done as well but without further ado let's jump into the attachments that i'm currently rocking for the sidewinder Wah! all right beautiful people so these are the attachments i actually need to switch something up real quick we're actually going to put this guy on because it doesn't have any negative effects but it also boosts our recoil stabilization um these is what it looks like but i have a feeling that we probably won't be shooting this gun very often for the simple fact of we have to get point blank kills now i do have a tract but there is something that i want to test with y'all to see if i could just get kills with the chainsaw and that'll count because if i'm not mistaken that's technically a point blank kill so we'll see if that works um but yeah uh that is all we have to do for the camo on this weapon sadly when i was leveling it up i got the rest of these done um but we got 250 point blank kills we have 13 out of 250 so we'll still have a little bit of a video for you guys today it's gonna be kind of a short one i hope you guys are okay with that um almost forgot the final touches here Throw on my winter sticker because I don't leave the house without it. And then where's my puppy Paul? Where's my puppy Paul? Puppy Paul, puppy Paul. There it is. Good pupper. Alrighty. Let me unequipped, re equipped. And without further ado, let's jump in to some zombies. Wah! Oh yeah, I absolutely forgot. Somebody had asked me to show them what I do when I start up another character. Um, as you guys know, I've been using Byline for the longest time and I've been leveling up Snoop Dogg a little bit here and there, but haven't really tried too much with him. But we are going to be running Operator 1 um, and we're gonna run this Operator and uh, we're gonna start him from scratch and I'm gonna show you guys what I do uh, whenever I start a new character. Figured I might show that one in this one because it's been a minute since I've showed that and I have had a couple comments asking me to do that again. So here we go. All right, see you in the zombies match. Wah! Alrighty. So here we are, I got the chainsaw equipped and we're at 13 out of 250. Let's go chainsaw a couple zombies and find out if this works. It looks like it does. It does. So we're gonna be running around chainsawing fools. I hope y'all. I hope y'all are gonna have fun with that. Uh, we don't have much over here. We have an escort to do, but I'm starting off a new character, so gotta check some things. And for those of you unaware, the chainsaw doesn't require ammunition, nor does it ever run out of ammo. So it's a good backup to have on any weapon that will accept it. Um, got some armor plates, another armor plate in there. there nothing good in there Oops, 
Usually, if I don't find what I'm mainly looking for... Puppy dog! <laughs> and I know the battle rifles, assault rifles, um, will accept this. And the Riveter shotgun accepts the chainsaw attachment too. Which I thought was quite interesting. We'll equip that just in case we need it. I doubt we'll need it, but it's worth to have anyway. All right, so let's go up here and rock this escort. Um, we might have to go. We're gonna have to go take care of that camp quick. There's a gas mask right here. Let's run up here and take care of this uh, terminus camp. Because this terminus camp is a guaranteed two plate vest. We're in the right direction, yep. I saw that. Now, obviously, be very careful. These dudes do hit very hard. As of right now, we don't have self revives. That camp supports terminal field. Stamp it out. Take out these sniper a holes before they get me out. God damn, zombies, we fuck off for a second. I said fuck off for a second. Just for a second. I don't want your cookies. A little busy. Ooh, I think he dropped something pretty. Whoa. Alrighty, two plate vest. And these guys are out of our hair, and most of the time they do end up having that. Hear it. Take a peek, see in here. Nothing in there. But did this guy. No, nah, he dropped a tier one. Darn. Thought he dropped a tier two. I mean, uh, well, yeah, tier two, I guess. And we were just going to be rolling up next to these guys, so I didn't want to have to deal with them anyway. Escort the ACV while it cleanses the area of vortexes. Ah, 
I'm sweating. Are you sweating? ACV roll. If anything tries to stop the ACV, you need to defend it with your life. Or, uh, try your best. I honestly did not know this was going to work. <laughs> oh, they're attacking the back of it. And a couple people didn't know that you could kill elites with the chainsaw. Some people didn't know. So, yeah. You can 100% kill elites with the chainsaw. Up top, quick. Clear out some of these zombies. Oh, I got an achievement. Slaughterhouse. Kill 50,000 zombie total enemies and DMZ. Look at that. We got an achievement, ladies and gentlemen. It is be a bit of an achievement horse, so that is nice. Whoa. Yellow. Yeah, bye. Well, usually the man responds to the right. I would say uh, probably bring a PhD flopper whenever you're doing this because of the because uh, of the uh, warhounds. The hellhounds do uh, they can be a bit spicy. Bangles are out to play today. Holy smokes. Come here, dickbag. that here another mangler somewhere too there he is and another one holy shit hello all right we are in 194 out of one two fifty Equip and stow. Look at that. Two good pulls right off the bat there. Don't got anything really good over there. We need mass zombies. We can do another escort. Um, let's go there too. Found an ether purge contract. Free tech rover here. So get that tech rover and then jump over to that outlast over there. I think that'll work the best. 
take a little sip here. Yeah, a few hours to catch up on on that. Of Ota. One less on deck. Shall we get this technical? Not technical, but vehicle. I'll get us there. multi-billion dollar company and can't get the audio for vehicles to stay or be right disappointing Ooh, excuse me I apologize These guys took that out last. I don't want that, so I'll go do that. It's fine. Hello. I was working on the RPG and yeah somebody had asked me um, once I'm done with all the Modern Warfare 3 weapons including like the DLC ones and stuff like that um, what are my plans my plans are to do the Modern Warfare 2 weapons as well the only problem is is I'm almost done well I don't know I honestly don't know how close I am to being done with those I might not be that close at all. I know I have a few guns here and they're done. I did not play a lot of Modern Warfare 2. I was not a fan of Modern Warfare 2. But Modern Warfare 3, I've loved. I love, there's a lot of great things about this game. There are some things that could be better. Like everyone says, the weapon balancing. I totally get it. There's always a metal weapon, but that's always going to be a thing. Um, but there are a couple things that I wish were a little bit different, but not too much, to be honest. It's... I've rather really enjoyed this game. And I have a lot of fun playing zombies. I mean, a lot of people hate on the zombies because it's very linear, but honestly, I really enjoy it. I mean, where else can you chainsaw zombies and have a blast doing it? Where are we at? 222 out of 250. Not too terrible. There's such a cool noise whenever you hit a window with it. That's little. Oh, 
Um, elemental pop, throw it away. Do not forget to check these. I've gotten a tier 3 vest and a tier 1 zone before, so do not ever forget to check once you open a stash. Always double check the stash. Um, how much money do we have? We have 8k. We have 8k. Go do that outlast and run up to that buy station. That's pretty much how I do it. Um, I usually just rock a tier two backpack. I don't really care for tier three. It doesn't add the biggest difference for me. I don't want you sniping me. Hey, we got the sidewinder done. But anyway, ain't quite over just yet. We, uh, I want to go do this contract and then go get a tier three vest. And yes, this uh, the chainsaw works pretty well on tier two zombies as well. Um, I'll show you if one pops up in front of me. Because this should overlap here pretty soon. here quick and then as soon as we get done with this we should be golden to go unless ladies and gentlemen I cannot stress to you enough enough please search the lockers I constantly find tier 3 vests large backpacks in lockers in the tier one zone. I find them all the time. Least favorite things is damn dogs. Ye. See what I mean? About that chainsaw coming in clutch sometimes? Hooey! Get off me, fucker. Alright. Um, we got 11k. We'll run in here. Get that, and then I think we'll call it an episode. What do you say? Yeah, this is what I do every time I have to reset a character. So run around, build it up enough oomph. Enough cash moolah. Yep, see? Those of you who are not rocking weapons that can carry this, I would strongly suggest a assault rifle or a battle rifle or any other weapon for what that for whatever that can take the chainsaw attachment 
because it even rips non-packed in a tier two zone. It's not as good, it's a little bit more sketchy. But it still works fantastically. Just a little bit more sketchy, that's all. Buy gear, three plate vest, turn around, chainsaw. Where are already, people? I will see you, amazing people, in a private lobby. I will see y'all there. Wah! Alrighty, beautiful people. So here we are. We are on this map, which I thought was really pretty. Quite enjoy this map. Look at that. Look at that view. That view is sick. Alrighty, beautiful people. We're not here for this knife. No, we're here for the Sidewinder. Here she is. She is not a bad weapon by any means. And zombie, she hits like a truck. I would have to say it's one of the best elite takedowners. Um, but for speed and rapid fire, I probably wouldn't use it in the tier 3 zone, that's for sure. Tier 2 can get a bit sketchy with how fast she shoots. She doesn't shoot fast enough, but she does hit like a truck. But I did enjoy playing with her, for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe down below. And I will see you beautiful people in the next episode, which will be the Riveter. And then next week, we're getting closer and closer, closer to being done with these grinds. I hope you guys are as excited about that as I am. Um, and if you are, please hit the subscribe. I mean, growing this channel would be absolutely amazing. I've been doing this for months now, consistently. Um, only missing like one or two uploads here and there. But... I hope to see you beautiful people in the next episode. Much love. Peace out. Bye-bye.